I just wanted to come on here and just speak on something real quick that I just saw on Hiram Holistics. Lady V, Lady Veronica, shout out to you. You're a beautiful soul. I love you. I love you so much. You just confirmed something for me. Ooh, butterflies. Ah, yeah. Hi. Hi. shit up y'all I can't I really can't like transformation is ahead big transformation butterflies <laughs> wow but lady V you just you made a video about seven months ago I said about earth angels <laughs> I got me a video about that I got something for you about that so I need to get this out so here we go so Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. So <sighs> that night, October 11th, was a Thursday night. I'm going to start from the Wednesday night leading into Thursday. So, Wednesday night, the third trip. That was after my third trip. Uh, we were all getting together, talking about our experiences. What we experienced individually. And Everything was correlating. My trip was correlating with the other people that I tripped with. It was like perfect pieces of a puzzle being put together. So, October 10th, that's 10 10. That's 10 10. October 10th. Isn't that crazy? We were in this, in my in my homeboy room, and we were all smoking and chilling and talking. Then my cousin said, "Let's go to the beach." Now, mind you, it's like probably 11, 11 at night. Probably like eleven, twelve at night. And he was like, "Yo, let's go to the beach, bro. I want to go to the beach." And then we was like. Bro, it's late. He was like, nah, bro, let's go, bro. Man, let's go. So we was like, all right, let's go. We got trees. I got my car. Shit, why not? Fly. So we went to the beach. I'm not gonna name names. I'm not gonna name names. Because I don't know if people want their names in here. And I don't want to expose anybody. But, um... We got to the beach, my cousin, he was at the beach, we were all doing our own thing. Nah, it wasn't, it was later than that. It was probably like two o'clock, two, three o'clock. When we got there, it was pretty late. So, one of my homeboy's sisters, she is very, very very spiritual 
we sat down and we started meditating just me and her everybody else is just walking around my cousin in the ocean and shit he having fun me and her we sat down on a on a blanket on the sand and we were in a meditational um meditational pose uh so she opened her eyes and she looked at me and she said alex I can see your chakra system right now and I can see which chakras need charging up and which ones is already spinning so I'm like which ones do I need assistance with I think she said my lower chakra my heart chakra and I think she said my throat chakra And I'm like, okay. So I told her to hold her hands out. Um, one palm up, one palm down. Uh, and I'm doing the same thing. So she, the one, her palm that was down is in my palm that's up and vice versa. So. Family. I didn't know how I knew what to do, but I told her, charge me up. And in my own thoughts, in my inner realms, something said to me, allow it. Allow her to charge you up. Allow her to give you the energy and charge up your chakras that needs to be charged. So I'm like, okay. So I... I put myself in a state of acceptance, of receiving, and she did. She did, family, she did. Now, I'm going to skip some of the details because I don't want to give y'all too much. I'm going to give y'all more in depth on the other videos about the consciousness, downloading higher consciousness. but. We stayed there for the whole night until morning. Didn't sleep, did nothing. I felt so energized. I never had that much energy in my life before. Y'all, y'all gonna see why, what I'm talking about. We stayed there until morning. We watched the sunrise. It was a beautiful thing. I might throw some pictures or some videos in here because y'all know me I document shit so um we stayed there I was so blissed out I was so blissed out I was I was so blissed out I don't know how to explain it family I had a, I had on a watch I had like ten dollars in my pocket and my car keys with me I put them in the sand and I'm all over it. I'm telling you, I'm walking like probably like a mile away from that shit. I lost, I lost my keys. Someone stole my, not lost. Someone stole my keys. Someone stole my money and my watch. And I ain't give a fuck. We were stuck at the beach, family. Cause my keys, my keys got stolen. But I ain't care. That shit did not affect me at all. Cause I know that whenever you're in a, a high vibration, something will be sent to to distract you or take you down i don't know why i don't know if it's for y'all like that but for me that shit is always like that always so high vibration i'm chilling i'm trying to do backflips and shit <laughs> we just having we just having mad fun The girl left because she had to go somewhere with one of her friends. Her friend came and got her. And when she left, I told her to go to my house to pick up my spirit key. So she brought the keys back and we got in the car. I dropped them to the crib and I went home and I slept because we, I, yeah, I slept. And I, so now we're into Thursday. We're into Thursday 11th. October 11th, 
we are now into Thursday, October 11th. Now, mind you, this was this was foretold to me by Fleur and Aluna Ash that something a white a wave is coming in. Now, I felt like it was for me, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. But during that time, a lot of things was leading up to that moment right there. But y'all, y'all know, y'all know. October 11th, I went home after I dropped my friends off and I went to sleep. Before I pull up on him the Wednesday night, right? I was on the phone with one of my friends and she asked me a question. She asked me, if you had to choose anything or an animal, I think she said an animal, to come back as in a future life, future lifetime what would it be so my leo ass because i love lions i said a lion but for some reason at that time it didn't feel right it just didn't feel right so i'm like nah 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 i take that back i take that back and i thought about it for a couple seconds you know i'm like you know what i would love to be an eagle i would love to be an eagle station continued now back to Thursday October 11th I went home and I went to sleep I got up about 7 7 30 7 something all those who know me knows that I love that pants it's some blue joggers with stars all over it white stars so I was I was looking in my basket for clothes and all my clothes on top of the basket I'm just digging I'm like none of these sheets feel right because in that time I'm starting to go with my feelings not just the thoughts in my head but the feelings and how they feel the energy behind it and I was like nah but I don't fuck with none of these clothes I don't fuck with none of these clothes and I'm digging and I'm digging deeper and I'm digging deeper and I saw that blue joggers with the stars on it I'm like yes Put that bitch on, put a shirt on, and I hopped in the car and I went back to my friend's house. Around nine something. Now, this is where the story get kind of fucked, kind of deep, kind of deep. Not kind of deep. This is where the story gets deep. That girl I was meditating with at the beach, my, my homeboy sister, we was outside by ourselves and she started playing this meditation music. And I think she, someone texted her and told her that they were outside and she got up and left me outside listening to the meditation music. Now, I was listening to it and something I was slouching in the chair because I was on a chair that had like arms on it and I was kind of like not sitting up straight then I heard in my head clear like, sit up straight so I'm like okay back straight shoulders square back straight shoulders square I'm like okay and it said close your eyes and I closed my eyes now I'm, I'm now it said to me breathe in and out deep breaths all the way in all the way out so i started breathing then i heard drink from the fountain of youth how do you drink you put your head back so i'm like okay i put my head back so it said put your tongue on the roof of your mouth uh -huh. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And I'm like, shit, okay. So I put my head all the way back. Dropped it all the way back. Because it told me that there's like something in the back of your head where your spine meets your skull. And it's like a flap that you have to put your head back to give it access to open. So I'm like, okay. So I did that. Put my head back. Put the... the my tongue on top of my mouth and it said 
look at your third eye while your eyes are closed. So uh, close, uh, my eyes was closed and I'm looking at my third eye. So I'm looking at my third eye, my eyes are closed, my head tilting backwards, primarily. While listening to the meditation music that she was playing, I felt like a buzzing right here. Like a buzzing right in my, the center of my, my forehead right here. And then I felt like something running from, the, from here, running down the middle of my head, down the back of my spine. And in the meditation music, I heard woo 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 woo. So I thought that was naturally part of the part of the net. I thought that was part of the meditation song. I thought it was part of the meditation music. It wasn't. And I'm pretty sure y'all know what it was. So she came back outside. I ain't really tell her what just happened. I'm there, I'm still meditating. She came back and she came back with three people, three of her friends, two girls and this one dude. They came with a pipe. So we was there sitting down. We, we, we started smoking pipe. Just just weed. No grabber, no nothing. Because I was being told that I shouldn't smoke with grabber anymore. Ever since then, I stopped smoking with grabber. I just smoke weed by itself with papers, raw papers. But that time, we had, um, that time we had a pipe. A lizard pulled up right next to me. And the same thing, a lizard pulled up next to me on a palm tree that was right there. And I'm looking at the palm tree and I'm looking at the lizard and I'm like, bro, I can connect with this lizard, bro, because this lizard is obviously a living being and all living beings are consciousness. Or has living consciousness within it so i'm like you know what i'm gonna try connect to this fucking lizard. i'm gonna try connect i'm gonna try connect to this lizard why not so i looked at the lizard now i'm speaking i'm talking to the lizard hi lizard <laughs> how are you doing lizard and i said you know I'm, I'm 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 joking but i'm not i'm like hi i'm alex this is my friend right here and i started naming everybody that's there and then when I tried to send a telepathic thought to the lizard, the lizard was looking me dead in my eye and I'm looking dead back at the lizard eye. And I saw this portal open up. Connecting with the lizard. And then it hit me and I jumped back and I'm like, what the fuck? Now mind you, bro, it's a garden lizard. About 10 at night. I, I, don't, I don't know about y'all, but I don't see garden lizards at fucking 10 o'clock at night outside. You feel me? So that was kind of odd. At the time, I wasn't really thinking about that. But after that, she was like, I love your pants. I'm like, thank you. That's my favorite pants. And I'm like, yeah. She was like, yeah, it's like the American flag. And I'm like, yeah, it, it kind of is. Missing the red, but yeah, it kind of is. So my homeboy came outside. I don't remember what we were talking about. But I know something came up. I don't remember what they asked me. But my answer was an eagle. And my friends were, my, my homeboy was like, how do I knew he was going to say that? And I'm like, I don't know, bruh. And then something said, be like the eagle. Become the eagle. Embody the energy of an eagle. So I, I went in like a, so based on the, the other video that I posted last night, I think uh, the, 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 um, based on my video downloading higher consciousness 25% part one in the drawing I did I said something about a womb and in a previous meditation prior to this moment I saw myself as a baby and you know how babies are in a womb how like the position they were right I saw myself in that position in space just floating rocking back and forth as a baby in space so I'm like damn what's that so that came back to me when I said the ego and it was like get get in the baby position so I'm like what so 
said, yeah, get in the baby position. So I, I went back in the baby position and I started saying, become the bird. Become the eagle. Be the eagle. I started feeling wings. Because I started flexing the, 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 the bone in my back. Back and forth, I started flexing it. I felt like I had wings emerge out of my spine. And I legit felt like I had gigantic ass wings that manifested itself energetically and i'm like yo what the fuck when that happened everything a stream of thoughts just started coming in a stream of thoughts started to come in a stream of thoughts and the information my friend told me before i'm like okay that silver machine is the moon i know that for a fact is the moon and the moon is stopping us from uh the moon is stopping us from connecting with our higher selves. The moon is stopping us from connecting with our higher selves. And it basically told me that when I did the wing thing, it was like I, I connected with my higher self. I left, I didn't leave, but I feel like I There's no words to explain this shit in the English language, or I don't even know if it's in any other languages. But when I left, when I did the the, 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 the eagle thing, I felt like I entered into another dimension and I embodied my higher self. Because when I was looking at everybody around me, especially the people that don't understand spirituality, I could see the sleeping in their eyes. I could see that they're not even aware, conscious-wise. They're not aware. They look like zombies, like lit literal zombies. Like they don't have no soul or none. And I'm looking at them, I'm like, bro, why do I feel like I'm in a movie right now? Like I just hopped in this dimension to fucking, I'm warning y'all that something's about to pop off that y'all need to wake up and i'm telling him i'm telling them look y'all gotta fucking there's the moon the moon is putting out a certain frequency a flat line frequency that's keeping everybody below it that's asleep and we have to get together in groups and talk because we all have individual codes within us we have to share to each other to wake up each other right We all have codes with each other. I mean, we all have individual codes within us, ourselves, to give to each other so we can put those codes together to unlock the bigger picture. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why the fuck do I feel like I'm in a movie right now? Like, literally, I felt like I was a movie character waking up in the movie, taking control of the fucking script and everything. And I'm like, yo, this is so weird. And I was like, I looked, I was like, I was like, I looked at my friend because I know she would understand me. And I said, yo, when you just went outside just now, that meditation song was talking to me and it told me what to do and you have to do it. And she was like, Alice, let's go. Now she took me from where I was. She took me from where I was. All right? And ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she took me from where I was. And she brought me outside. While she was walking me through the house, I was telling her everything. It was like a stream of consciousness coming through me, speaking through me. It was like, look, you have to stop eating meat. Meat is one of the biggest fucking things they use to keep your vibration low. Smoke as much as possible so you can get your frequency as high or higher than the base frequency that they have everybody to sleep with, right? And get together in groups and talk. Talk as much as possible. Share everything. Every thought, idea, feeling you have, share it. Sugar. I was telling her, sugar, stay away from sugar. 
don't consume too much sugar. Stay away from sugar and stay away from meat. Meat is what's keeping the vibration low. <sighs> Ever since that day I stopped eating meat, I mean, I, I, I might take a, a small piece here and there when I leave my body needs protein or I need grounding, but I don't eat meat as much as I used to before. So she brought me outside and I'm like, yo, listen, I looked her in her eyes and the feeling I got, I knew, I know, I know her, but we just met like a week and a half ago, but I felt like I knew her for millennia. And I, I don't know, I had this feeling like, you know that, that cartoon that used to come on TV? I don't know if y'all know it, like Americans, but it used to come on, on TV in Jamaica, Justice League. It's like a loop. It's like the cartoon with Shaira, um, the the um, hot girl, and you know that 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 one episode where the hawk man came and told her that he's her soulmate or whatever, and he's one of her, her species. I felt like I I knew I had wings now. At the moment, right. And I'm trying to tell her, oh my God, bro, I can't, you can't translate shit like this in fucking language, bro. You can't. So I was trying to tell her like, look, listen, that picture I drew the first trip was the catalyst to trigger my cousin to trigger me. And there are codes within that picture. We need to meditate. We need to become one with ourselves, just like my cousin said. And I was like, yo, where the fuck is my cousin? I don't know where my cousin was at the time. But I was looking at her and I was when I was looking at her, I felt like I knew her. And I was looking in her eyes and I'm saying, you have to remember, please remember. And I'm saying, look into my eyes, feel it, feel it. And I'm trying to like transmit the code to her that I just got. I was trying to I was trying to make her get her wings too and I'm like you're close they're nowhere close to getting it you're very close to getting it so I want to transmit this code to you I was telling her feel your wings feel your wings but it was getting me upset because she wasn't getting it <laughs> The feeling I got, bruh, it was bliss. I felt bliss in my whole body. I was sweating. I was hot. Hot, hot. My pupils were so dilated. My pupils were so dilated. I'm telling her, look in my eyes. Look at my eyes. The eyes is the windows to your soul. And I'm telling her, feel your wings. You need to feel your wings. Basically, the point of my story is I feel like I'm an earth angel because I literally said that. I said, yo, we're angels. There is so much things that happen. I can't, it will take me probably hours to tell y'all all the synchronicities that that led to that moment right there because I literally shut out of this world and there were spaceships around because that noise that I heard in the meditation song when we went back to listen to that song there was no woo 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 in there listen listen see that matrix But that all lasted for probably like an hour because I was telling him, I was telling him, look, we're angels. I felt like I was a blue avian. 
because I, and I would feel like I knew or I have some type of connection to the Blue Asians or they were connecting with me in some type of way. They were connecting to me in some type of way. Uh, I was telling them, I can feel them all around me. When we go to sleep, they erase our memories so we can't remember what the fuck we're doing on the other side. Two birds right there. But I do. Um, I could feel energies around me that's, that I knew wasn't supposed to be there. There's a lot of weird things happening in this park at this moment right now. You have this one man that's running back and forth that look weird as fuck. And it is just tall white nigga just walked by me that look kind of sus. There's a lot of weird shit going on in this park right now. Something's about to come. I have to let go. And I have to prepare. I have to let go of everything. Love. Hate. Any emotion that could be attached to this third dimension. I had to let go of everything. I had to let go of fear of death. I had to let go and lose every programming that was ever implemented on my being or implemented into my being. Now, let's get into the AI.